Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> Whoa, I lost my voice. Sorry about that. Um, my name's Melissa. If you're new here, hello and welcome. If you are subscribed, click the subscribe and the notification bell. If I slur a little bit, I do have my retainers in. I don't feel like really taking them out right now. I'm pretty lazy. Um, but I want to do a, um, a chat and get ready with you guys. Um, and I'm going to do a very, very quick, simple eye look. And I want to do a little bit of a bold liner. But, um, I haven't played with this palette yet, and it's the Go Coconut. I know everybody raves and loves about this palette, but you can see I've never used it. <laughs> yeah. I have a lot of these I need to start working with. But, um, actually, I'm going to keep that off today. That's good, right there. But, um, basically, I just want to talk and get some stuff off my chest, because there's been a lot of stuff bugging me lately, and... Yeah, um, I haven't, let me just talk with you guys. So I am going to put, I already have my, um, you can see I'm kind of like uh, sticky looking. I have my, um, primer on, which I'm using the e.l.f. Um, from the mint chocolate one. I love this stuff. This one. So that's what I have. And now I'm going to go in with the Milani, um, what is this one called? Uh, Creamed powder. It's like the dupe for the um, KB Vegan Beauty. It's just very sheer. It's not too bad. I don't mind using... I don't want like a heavy caked on foundation. And this does it. It does build pretty well. And I don't really try to put anything below my bangs. Because it all it does is getting like a rainforest under there. <laughs> when you have bangs. And you wear makeup. Yeah. So. But I just wanted to chit chat with you guys and stuff. Because I'm. Haven't been sleeping well. Because a lot of the stuff has been really. Eating at me. And it's just. I'm not getting. That many views. I'm not getting. No more new subscribers really at all. And the worst thing is that I decided to do a tutorial, like a one minute tutorial on TikTok and it reached 200 and something, 200 and something viewers. And I don't even get darn near that many. And it was just like, it's kind of hurtful when I've been doing this for almost two years and I'm not getting anywhere. I will be doing more videos on there. I just, it's hot and right now I have my AC on because it's a hundred and something degrees right now. Oh, and I'm really sorry. I tried to mute out as much as I can of the noise, but it doesn't work. And I'm finding people are finding me unprofessional and occasionally I slip up. I have a daughter, this is special needs, and she occasionally gets a little rowly for me to handle and I slip and use some language and one person had to tell me how unprofessional I was so they're kind of like eating at me I'm like seriously I oopsed up and forgot to remove it I'm only human oh yeah and I've started noticing that a lot of my follow youtubers that I've talked to have kind of like stopped talking to me which kind of hurts. They don't even invite me to do... I haven't done a collab in three months. Because nobody bothers to invite me. And stuff. And I get left on red. So. And this is my e.l.f. hydrating one in light ivory. So. It's been one of those. I'm like... I feel I really don't belong on here because I'm just getting shunned by my follow YouTubers just because of I don't know why and I'm starting to realize that I and get I'm gonna put some on my eyelids um this is like a kind of hard haul See, look, I like this. 
It's a nice look. And, um, I'm starting, um, the one I mentioned earlier this week, um, porcelain, she brought it up too. It's becoming so uncomfortable, or so bearing, and just not wanting to do it at all. Is making videos and stuff, and putting the makeup on. It's just, I hate it at times. I can't stand it. I don't want to do it sometimes. I'd just rather do it off camera and figure out something else to talk with you guys. So, I'm, I dread making videos sometimes. It was start. I don't think I ever really loved doing this. I liked it a lot. I was having fun. But I never could say I loved making videos. Um. But yeah. It's getting to that point where I dread this sometimes. And it doesn't help with my mental health and my physical health. And it's been straining, and I think that's one reason why people don't bother to invite me because I'm just a burden, and that's how I've been feeling lately. So, put a little down here. This stuff blends out really well. It may look heavy and dark, but it blends like a dream. But it only leaves my finger looking red. But it wipe off. But, um, but that is, I don't remember what color this one is, but it's one of the e.l.f. putty blush. I love their blushes, but I don't like their eye primer. I may have to try to repurchase them because the ones I got are just like dry. See, look, I got away. And I'm just like gently patting it in and like trying to blend it out. But yeah, I, I'm starting to notice that. That I am just that person that you just ignore. And is not important to talk to. I've busted my butt and worked my butt off trying to entertain you guys in some way. And show you guys what my skill sets are. And I'm not good enough or something. And it really bugs me when I hear bigger YouTubers, especially ones that started like way after I did and already reached the um, monetization area and stuff, and them complaining and moping and groaning about how little views they get and stuff when they get like 1k on their videos or more. And like, it just makes me not want to be on here because if people of more than me are moping and groaning because they are losing one viewer basically be in my shoes be doing this for two years and getting absolutely nowhere really and just yeah I'm actually holding up really well because I was concerned that I would start crying because it's been really hurtful and being the odd one out, basically. And it's like, what am I supposed to do? I'm like, there's really nothing I could do. So, I just keep pushing. So, I am going to, I, I don't really bake. That's one thing I don't do. But if you think I'm being crude and just a little hissy fissy, that's your opinion. It's just I'm burned out. I'm at this point of not caring anymore. And I really, really try to be professional on here and keep my P's and Q's to myself and watch my language and stuff. But yeah. And honestly, on TikTok, I'm gonna be myself. I will use language. I will use whatever I want. Cause yeah, I'm not getting paid. I'm having fun on there. And I'm getting more views. And I wanna try to do more on there. So. 
I've accomplished it a lot. Like, I recently just getting noticed by Nomad Cosmetics. They sent me a palette, which I truly appreciate. I don't know the whole reason why for that. I would like to find out, but I'm a little chicken, so I won't go in like, what's the reason behind this palette you gave me? Because I haven't got officially told that I'm on a PR or anything, so I don't know. It was a nice gift, so I'm grateful, and I'm planning on next week doing a three looks with it. But, um, tomorrow I'm going to be doing my first of two, um, three looks, doing looks inspired by the pride flags. And I have three in mind, so, yeah. Um, sorry. Uh, this is the cat eye from the Sailor Moon collaboration with Colourpop. And I just used my Milani's, uh, Sun Kiss. And it's like, got a huge hole in it now. I've been trying just to get it over and done with. I would buy another one later down the road. So I'm going to go in with the uh, designer collection, the Disney one, the um, Aurora highlighter. Oh my. But I, I, not, I don't know, if I seem like a bitter whatever, I'm sorry. <sighs> my health has been the worst in the last several months and it did not help I am fully vaccinated now and everything and it took my butt out I was down for over a week and I had so much planned to do for um, pride month because one I am bisexual I did come out to my family but I think they try to ignore it my husband knows I had I've had a girlfriend well and yeah, that's a traumatizing experience, but it made me better. But yeah, I want to try to do at least two videos for Pride Month. Even though everybody else has that in collaboration for it and stuff and did videos on it, uh, I haven't done it yet. And I think I got, got here. So. I'm trying to get this to come on. I think yeah, that's good enough. But yeah, I'm noticing that. And it's like, whatever. I'm done. I think. I'm going to do the one eye. I shall do both. Because it's going to be really quick. Since it is going to be a very grungy brown look, with <laughs> I want to do a bat wing because I do have hooded eyes. I'm just using a little brush because I got nails. <laughs> and this is the skin tone from oh am I okay this is right here but yeah look at my hand I was trying to put up my daughter's um a sh blanket over my daughter's window and she's got a shelf that's literally about that far away from the curtain rod area and trying to slide my hand under it scraped my knuckles real good um I'm trying to think what Sorry, I'm trying to look for a black pen. I'm trying to see. Let me see. I know there's a black one. There it is. It's called Cave. I'm going to use this one. My sister gave me. But, um, no, I've just been in one of those slump moods. And it's just not helpful. <laughs> not at all. Like, I get more interaction on Instagram and stuff than anything else. So I'm going to go into lovely 
bunch. That color right there. And I'm just leaving that on. And I'm going to put that right here. But, um, yeah. I have some ideals I want to do for my TikTok. And stuff. I did get a really cool response from, um, NYX. Or I don't, NYX or whatever you want to call it. Um, I left a comment on one of their posts and they wrote back with little hearts. I thought that was awesome. That they acknowledged my comment. And my butt's sticking. I'm in shorts and it's like stuck. I'm not trying to dirty up too many brushes because, yeah. I'm going to wipe this off if I can find my brush clean. And I have a BB cat. And I'm going to go into... Mm, uh, this color called Kulana. That's up here. That's what, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I'm going to deepen up my crease a little. I've never used anything like this palette before. Or no, sorry, I have. I got the Jeffree Star... Um, yeah, the one that I'm not going to try to say on here. I don't feel comfortable saying it. It's very nude and natural. I will darken it up in just a second. With the nutty color, which is the darkest. I think I'm going to go with Coco Crush. Just put it all over my lid. And then use Palm Reader. So I'm going to go into Nutty and deepen up my corners and then blend it into but yeah it just sucks my health has been really bad so It's been strange anyways, so I haven't been making a lot of videos on here. And like I said, I kind of dread doing videos on here now. Because I'm not getting the view I would like to see. And let's bring this down just a little bit. It's really pretty. I don't do very soft, natural looks like this. And I think I'm going to go in with um, a sh Shall Ya Ye? Shall Ye? Is this one? I'm using almost all the colors in here. I'm putting it underneath. I feel like a corpse right now. I put a champagne color in my waterline. Why does this one want to not work? But yeah. No, I'm just noticing that a lot. And there's been a few that just went quiet. I've noticed that. I'm like, huh, what is going on? And I forgot to set my face. I'll do it afterwards. Hopefully it doesn't do the same thing it did the other day. Alright, 
this side does not want to blend in very well like, like I have a harsh mark right there I can feel it too I'm going to add a little bit of that sh shell color just so, so slightly in this area because it looks so voided of color. Alright. So now I'm going to grab a flat brush and my glitter glue. I'm just trying to, I'm probably cut out a lot of stuff. It's not a bad palette, it's cute. I'm gonna go in with coconut brush. Now I'll probably use a little bit of the cocoa right here, just to eat. Get a little bit. Of I was just thinking of it. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna use a little bit of. I don't want it too sheer, because it looks like it's gonna be one of those sheer ones. It's really pretty. Oh, it's really pretty though. Over and going in with that darker one if it shows up. Alright, hold on, give me a second. I need to see if this color is going in or not. So, there's that. That doesn't look too bad. Right. Um, I'm actually going to wipe this off. I'm going with that um, palm reader. So there is my look. It looks really cute, very soft. So um, I'm actually gonna do the rest off camera and stuff because yeah, it's gonna be a long video then. And then I'll show you guys the end results with my lashes and liner and lips and, and stuff. So give me one moment, okay? Okay guys, so here's the final look. Really cute, I like it. It came out, I actually had to take it all off because the black line side, it, on me and messed up so I use my Purdue um, in color called cave not the best thing to do this not really because it was really stiff drawing out way too fast and I'm wearing their number one lashes style number one that's what it's called um, just started to stick with that my lips are from unicorn gang and um, alchemy I thought this would be a nice color to go with it um, but yeah I had to retouch my whole face up almost because it really got a little heavy. Because I mean they were like out to here. I'm like no. I need to redo it all. So I did it over again and it came out a lot better. This time around. It's really hard to concentrate. It took me a while to get it where I want it. But it's really pretty. I think it came out really good. And it's nothing I normally do. But I think it's kind of interesting and sultry. And it's my little bat wings. I know they don't look pretty even but can't tell when my eyes are shut <laughs> you have to get up and close and personal which I don't think anyone will be doing that anytime soon so I'm not going anywhere because it's too hot 
my AC's back on. But, um, yeah. I'm sorry if I seem like a little downer and stuff, but it's just how I've been feeling lately. And it's been really eating at me. Um, but yeah. I hope you guys do stay. <laughs> I know this is like a depressing get ready with me. But, um, I just want to let the stuff that's on my chest out and let you guys know how I feel. And I think I'm not going to be, um, cut, not expressing myself and just being a robot. I, I feel that way sometimes when I'm on here that I'm just programmed to say certain things and do certain things and blah, blah, blah. And it's getting ridiculous and annoying at times. That's why I kind of dread sometimes doing videos. But hopefully I can get out of this rut and hopefully other YouTubers will be nice to me again and invite me to do collabs on here or on Instagram. It will be nice, but if not, oh well, I'll have to stick with doing this by myself then. Which I had to start it off in the beginning and I was kind of concerned about that whole situation and everything. And I know this is a very long video too. But um, if you want, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, um, Facebook, and TikTok. I do try to air multiple times out of the week, but I hope you're all doing good, staying safe, and I do love you all. Until the next time, guys. Bye.